fun. The plan when I opened the first restaurant was I gonna close in five years. I just want to do it. It's supposed to be my hobby. Your plan was to not close in five years. Wait to no. close and oh. go home and be a housewife okay. again. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> so much for that. So much for that. <laughs> but then you know when I got my business running, I got a lot of attention. Yeah. And I have staff. So this, this they stuff. cannot leave those people. Mm. No, they are my people. They are my family. They've been with me from day one. I still have a lot of my day one here in this restaurant, I and and I look at them like they deserve a better life because one or uh, each one of my people they have families. Yeah. How many mouths that we fed from this tiny little restaurant? We have. I have responsibility to them. I want them to have health insurance. I want him to have the basic leave. I want them to have a better management than me taking care of them. I want this to be a real job. I want them to have the job securities. And and it's not about me. It's about my people. Mm. About my team. They help me. They give me, you know, what I I. What the goal that I achieve or the accolade is not just me; it's my team. It takes an army. It's my team. Yeah. It's my loyal team that they have my back. So that's when I decided. You know, either I go big or I go home. And I think partner up with Define Hospitality is the best de- decision. Is my is the best business decision I ever made. All these gentlemen, they just take good care of me. They are more like my brothers. They are more like my work husbands. Now I have four husbands. <laughs> oh my God! And plus one at home. <laughs> Jesus Christ, God help me. I love them all, and they all, you know, they supported me in each one of them have different strengths, yes. and they complementing each other. Yes. And I know that I am in good hands. Yes. So this is a very sensitive subject, a very controversial subject, this idea of to have partners or to Mm -hmm. not have partners. Have partners. Why is that the best way? Partner with someone you can trust. Um, I don't want to be a lone wolf. You said earlier today that trust, you can't trust anybody. Exactly. But partner with someone that you can trust. Okay. Trust has to be earned. Mm. If someone proves to you that you can trust them, that's your partners. Mm-hmm. That's your partners. I do trust my partners. I question them, they question me. And whatever that we answer that we ha- give to each other is super transparent and that's trust. That's the relationship. So what makes a good partnership is uh, being able to challenge each other. And yes. Uh, transparency. Transparency. What else? We are in this together. Mm-hmm. We got you. And you are our family. Yeah. And you alluded to something else, which I think is really important. Um, what would you say yours? And are? boundaries. Boundaries. How do you set those boundaries? Um, I would say that I'm very strong and stubborn person. I focus on my food. And the food is my boundaries. No one can cross that. No one. And their territories are management, helping me grow, running this restaurant. And so each one of us, we have our clear boundaries. We may cross it. Sometime, but you know the communication, the communication between each one of us, always you know we nothing ever you know gets simmer too long. Mm. We always clear the air out and very blunt and very straightforward. And I know that anything happen in Kalaya, I can turn to each one of my partners anytime, and I they have my back. And um, I mean, I lean in the direction of partnerships. I think to, for every reason you just listed, especially as we go forward, I think it's more and more competitive. The industry is more and more competitive. Yes. And you, there's more and more 
I think a restaurant tour has to be responsible for it today. Yes. It's not just cooking anymore. No. It's not just managing books. Yes. It's not just leading a team. It's about people. It's, yeah, it's about people, but it's also um, the, the, the world of technology, like the digital world. Like the restaurants are spilling outside of the four walls, mm-hmm. and you need a PR, you need marketing, you need technology, you need all these different things to be competitive today, to go neck and neck with the best. Yes. And I, you would have to be a freak of nature. To, to be good at all those things. Yes. Or you can know what you're good at. And fire good partners. And, and yes, yeah, stay your, in your lane, have your boundaries. Yes. And complete yourself and, and go further together. Exactly. Together we are stronger. Yes. And like I said, you know, lone wolf is far, it sounds very lonely. Mm. I never want to be that person. It I want to have friends. I can speak. I'm on the road a lot by myself. It yes. gets lonely. And I, I want to have friends. I want to have someone who I can turn to beside my husband. Yeah. And Community. communities. Yes. It's and my team yeah. here, we have the best team. We have a very good culture. We create one of the best work culture, work environment. And that's all because of, you know, I partner up with someone who have the same belief mm. who think that p- people are their priorities and that's that's defy hospitality that's yeah. my partners right yeah. there yeah yeah you said that you have people working with you today that have been with you since the, ve- the very they're beginning. zero <laughs> zero <laughs> they're zero yes they're zero they're zero before i opened the restaurant miles jamal came to me like no i want to work with you i said I don't know whether I have money to open this restaurant yet. He said, $8 an hour cash. I want to work with you. And he's, he's still with me since. Ed Doherty just walked up. You know Ed, right? He's, he's outside. I'm oh. going to put a pause here real quick okay. to let Ed in because I don't want right. to. He's, he's hanging outside. We'll be right back. Okay. A little teaser. Ed Doherty, mm-hmm. we just let him in. Uh, we're going to be talking with Ed and maybe either Greg or Al. We're not too sure. Um, through I think Greg. Yeah, so through the um, through defined hospitality, I learned about predictive index. Did you go through the predictive index? I did. Do you know what your um, your ident- like your what do they call it? Uh, profile? Persuader. What's that? Persuader. Persuader. Do you remember what that I means? I get shit done. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what do you like? Talk to us about a persuader and, uh, and your the strengths of a persuader. I don't remember you anything I told me. <laughs> no. no, I bet I do know who would know. I'll ask Ed later. You can ask Ed later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we're, we're a little teaser. If you're listening to this, I think this will be going live before that episode. So we learned about predictive index, which is a behavioral analysis. Yes. Um, and it helps you understand who you are and who your team members are and how to help them succeed and become more self-aware about. We're just talking about the power of people, and how important people are. Yes. Um, and when you fully, deeply understand your people and discover what they need to thrive and what you need to thrive, and you can, it just creates so much awareness. Um, I know that's not your strength, your your food. <laughs> no. So I won't make you go any deeper. I'm the persuader. The persuader. <laughs> um, but you can't speak to that that to that um, that strength. How do you persuade people? How do you, what what advice do you have for us to become for us to, be, to become better persuaders? Um. For me, I think, you know, if I want something, I work hard for it. I work toward it. I set the goal, I'll go for it. And I know I will get it. Like, I opened the restaurant because I was wondering about Craig Laban. I was wondering about James Beard. I want it. I want that to happen to me. Why did you want it? Just to check the box. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Yeah. You know? It's a good goal. Setting the goal. Yeah. Work hard. Focus. I am laser focused when it's come to something that I'm really interested in. And then I know that I will get it. But if I didn't get it, I'm not regretted because I know I did my best. Mm. You know, I did whatever I could at the full capacity of my ability to make it happen. Yeah. Before I let Ed in, I think I was asking you about um, the longevity from day one, before, from day zero, mm-hmm. you have people working for you today. Yes, that work they're for all you here. Um, what is it about you and what you do? What advice do you have for us? I don't know. 
did you did I cut you short or did you answer that question? No, you didn't ask me that yet. Okay, so yeah, what advice? I mean, in in a world where one of the biggest challenges right now is people mm-hmm. and attracting people and keeping people. Yes. What advice do you have? What do you do? What can we all do to keep people? Be specific. Keeping people is mean you keep good people. Mm. Not all people you want to keep, mm. right? Not all people that come to this revolving door that you want to keep them forever. We go through, you know, a lot of staff. Whoever we, you know, love us, understand our value, we would love to have them. Mm -hmm. But everyone comes from different background. To be able to be in the same community, the same organization, you have to be compatible. The value, what we believe, and that's what important. You have to believe in the same value. You have to have the same level of respect that you have. You and I, we are, I'm not your boss. You are not my employees. We are family. We work together. We make things happen together. We share the same belief. Mm -hmm. If you and I are not sharing the same belief, I am not for you, you're not for me. What can we do to make sure from day one we are sharing the same beliefs? Things change all the time. People grew apart. People changed. People, People become, changed. Yeah. As long as we can maintain the same level of professionalism, same level of respect, we can be together for a long time. Yes. The minute that, you know... We feel, we feel like that quality deteriorating is heading to different direction, then that is something that we need to reevaluate our relationship. We're going to take one more quick break to thank our sponsors, and we'll be back to start talking about where you are today and where we're going. <laughs> 